Reverend Father and God, I present unto you this person present to be admitted to the exercise of the priesthood in this church. Take heed that this person whom he present unto us be apt and meet for his learning and godly conversation to exercise his ministry duly to the honor of God and the edifying of his church. I have inquired concerning him and also examined him and think him so to be. Dearly beloved, the ministry which we share is none other than the sacrificial ministry of Christ who gave himself up to the death on the cross for the salvation of the world. By his glorious resurrection, he has opened to us the way of everlasting life. By the gift of the Holy Spirit, he shares with us the riches of his grace. We are called to proclaim his death and resurrection, to administer the sacraments of the new covenant, which is sealed with his blood upon the cross, and to serve and care for his people in the power of his spirit. Father, do you therefore, in the presence of Christ and his church, here, renew your solemn commitment to your ministry under the pastoral direction of your bishop? I do. Do you renew and reaffirm your promise to give yourself to prayer and to study? I do. Do you renew and reaffirm your promise so to minister the word of God and his holy sacraments that the reconciling love of Christ may be known and received? I do. Do you renew and reaffirm your promise to be a faithful servant to all those committed to your cure and charge, framing your life in accordance with the teachings of Christ so that you may be a wholesome example to his people? I do. Will you be loyal to the doctrine discipline and worship of Christ as this church has received the same. I do solemnly declare that I, Don Polly, do believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be the Word of God and to contain all things necessary for salvation. And I do solemnly engage to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Anglican Catholic Church. And further, I, Don Polly, do willingly subscribe to and declare that I assent to and will obey and abide by the Constitution and canons which have been or shall be from time to time passed by the Holy Synod or the Provincial Synod or the Synod of the Diocese of Holy Trinity and Great Plains. Will you reverently obey your bishop and such are the ministers who according to the canons of this church may have charge and government over you and your work? I am ready and willing so to do, the Lord being my helper. And I, Don Holly, do swear that I will pay true canonical obedience to the Bishop of the Diocese of Holy Trinity in Great Plains and his successors in all legal and honest commands. So help me God. He's being to you. And to thy Almighty God, who hath given you this will to do all these things, grant also unto you the strength and the power to perform the same, that he may accomplish his work, which he hath begun in you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I receive and admit you, into the exercise of the sacred priesthood in this church, in the name of the Father and of the Son. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you and, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with thy spirit.
Reverend Father and God, I present unto you these persons who desire to be received unto the Holy Catholic Church, Anglican Rite. Dear beloved, it is fitting that before we admit you to the communion of the Holy Catholic Church, Anglican Rite, we should receive full assurance that you understand what is required of you for this purpose, and that your declaration may the more confirm you in your good resolutions. You shall answer plainly to these questions which we, in the name of God and of His Church, do not propose to you. Do you declare that you have been baptized into Christ's Holy Church with water in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost? I do. Have you received confirmation in the Holy Catholic Church? Amen. Do you desire to be received in the communion of this church as into a true part of Christ's one holy Catholic and apostolic church? I do so desire. Do you accept the articles of faith as contained in the Apostles Nicene and Athanasian creeds as a sufficient statement of his faith as set forth therein? I do accept and believe them. Will you use the Book of Common Prayer? And as a loyal member of this church, faithfully accept and conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Holy Catholic Church. I will abide in the house. Holy God, who has given you a love of truth and a will to do all these things, grant unto you also the strength and the power to perform the same, that he may accomplish his work, which he hath given in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We, Leo Joseph Michael, Bishop of his Diocese, and by virtue of our office in the Church of God, do upon this your solemn profession and earnest request receive you into the communion of the Holy Catholic Church and the Church in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Friends, seeing you that you have, by the grace of God, proceeded thus far, I must put you in mind that you take care to preserve in that good way into which you have entered, and for your establishment and furtherance therein, that you regularly receive the Holy Sacrament of the Body and Blood of Christ, and may God's Holy Spirit be ever with you. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord with His favor look mercifully upon you, and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace, now and forevermore. Amen. Turn around. Let's welcome them, please. Continue to be faithful and to grow in the love and uh, blessings of God. We are here as a parish, as a diocese. We have our chancellor behind. Um, we have the president of the bishop's council. We have uh, Bishop Jairaj, uh, who is also representing the college of bishops of the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. And we have the council of advice, uh, the council uh, commission for our ministry, and also the members of the council of advice also in our midst. And so we together we will certainly you know grow in the love of God and and continue to be a witness uh, to His great love and mercy uh, through the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. God bless you. Thank you for taking your time to come. And for those of uh, us who are uh, it's a Sunday mass, and for those of us who are seeing the service being uh, extended, it's a wonderful.